Cape Wrath Trail is a hiking route that runs through the Scottish Highlands and along the west coast of Scotland. It is approximately 200 miles in length and is considered to be one of the most challenging long distance walks in the UK. Welcome to another video and welcome to the start of the Cape Wrath Trail. There's going to be highs and lows. <laughs> I've got my maps. I've got a rough idea of where I want to camp each night, but that is just very loose. I don't like look that it <laughs> That is it's it's a very loose idea. And because I don't want to put any pressure on myself. I just want to enjoy it, mate. This is my holiday. I'm on holiday. <laughs> Come on holiday with me. You'll have seen a video of what I've got with me and what I'm taking and why. Has it all worked? Have I even got to end when I'm editing this? Have I made it all the way to end? Who knows? Pretty lightweight. Uh, except I've got a kind of northern monk. A kind of faith northern monk. I thought, do you know what? When you carry a stone on the coast to coast, it's like that. But I'm carrying a can of faith from here, Fort William, all the way to the Cape Wrath. And as soon as I get to that lighthouse, I'm chinning it. Oh, where's he gone? There he is. Please, there he is, look, little Robin. Little Robert, oh. Right. <laughs> I've seen a Robin. We've only just set off and we've seen a Robin, so it's a good sign. Medic! Started to go uphill, which is a pleasant change. Flat, uh, flat tarmac is just not the one. I prefer to walk up hills than down them or on flat. Just slight elevation, it's just, it's good for legs. I've seen, look at that man, I look like some sort of, what do I look like? Matches my boots, I, got a, I thought I'd go for the colour for that. So whack it on backwards, see if any cars, you know, when I'm doing any road sections, it's just sort of bright in it. Um, yeah, bright colours, mate, just stick out a little bit. For anyone who follows me on Instagram, you'll already know, but if you don't, I've, uh, uh, beginning of lockdown, I started to train, I thought, well, I'll train this Robin to uh, come and feed off my hand, and it took me, it took a long time. Every morning I'd go out and I'd just put mealworms just, away from me then I'd sit like I'd get closer and closer and just sort of gained his trust anyway and by the, by the end I would just come out and he would just be flapping around my head landing on my hand I called him Robert and before I came it was f I'd gone the longest since I made friends with him the longest I'd been without seeing him which was about five days including the day I left which was about six days so I just feared the worst for old Robert <laughs> And now we'll be coming out on this trip for maybe two or three weeks. Just that's it. So to see them robins was a, a nice little sign. Uh, really put a spring in my step. Good looking robins as well. I'm a, I'm a connoisseur of robins now. I always have been. I've got a robin tattooed on me, but Robert was a bit of a scruffy zombie looking type of character. The ones I've seen today are just slick. They look well. I'm not enthusiastic about that because it's a baby lamb and I feel a bit Feel a bit tight doing a medic, but evac medic. Hey, <laughs> Spider Man. <laughs> nice look. That's pretty cool. Please place us back. Bring your stones here and add to the stack. Come on in. Oh, that's so cool. Ladybird. <laughs> oh. You rock, mate, don't you forget it. Retro, there's one falling down here, there's a strawberry. Uh, let's have a little tidy up, shall we? That'll be my contribution, just a little, little tidy up. Whew. So when you hit these, that's when you know that you want to be veering off to the right and not continuing with the path. Look at that, all optimism at first day in it. I'll walk past camera on it, best video ever. <laughs> I won't be able to keep this up, I know for a fact. It's forecast to rain at four o'clock. So I'm just gonna keep walking. I set off at half 10 for 
from off the ferry. I'm going to keep walking till three o'clock, half three, and then wherever I am at that time, I'm just going to pitch the tent up and uh, sit out the rain and get used to, uh, you know, squaring away my stuff, making sure everything's waterproof, packed away, doing my stretches, having my minerals, CBD oil, all that sort of jazz. Oh. <laughs> I'm excited. There's gonna be there's, there's gonna be ups and downs on this one. I can tell. There's ups and downs. I'm gonna try not to give in. Uh, try and make it. If I don't, I don't. I'm not putting too much pressure on myself. But you know, it's been a long lockdown, hasn't it? I, I've got some. Uh, I've got some spare calories to shift. Right, I've just been zoned out half three, so I've been giving it some for five hours non-stop. I've not even stopped for a break, I've just had two two little bars out of there and I can I can access my water in the Osprey as I move, so there's no re real reason to stop, I just keep going. Look at that man. I'm just like I should get a propeller for it. I'm a Propeller away from perfect. <laughs> I'm a propeller away from perfection, aren't I? With that, look, 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 look. the next decent spot that I see, I want to be quite near the river because I want to bathe in it. I think it's going to be important for me anyway to soak my feet, soak my body, uh, and, and my muscles, and basically do cold water therapy at the end of every day if I can. Uh, and uh, obviously, it depends where you end up, it's all. It's an unwritten script and you've just got to write it yourself on these sort of hikes. The next decent pitch next to this river, I'm going to stop and pitch the land sham too. Oh, I forgot my tent. <laughs> Imagine that, if it's just falling out of the back. In fact, that's just giving me a right panic attack. <laughs> I'm going to cinch it down with some got a carabiner. I'll just carabiner it because that just... Imagine that if I just looked at no land, no tent. <laughs> Uh, man, it's just beautiful. It's so remote now. The path is sort of is getting less and less pathy. Signal is long gone, and everywhere you look, there's like a little waterfall or a little beautiful plunge pool that you think, you know, if that was in the Yorkshire Dales, on a, on a decent day, it'd be it'd be ram full of people having picnics. They'd be like, oh, have you been to? But here, it's just round every corner. It's just stunning. <laughs> well, this will ding dang do. Uh. Oh, first time I've had this pack off all day. This is going to be good. Uh. Yes. Yes, thanks. Yes, thank you. Uh. Oh, <laughs> look at that, beautiful, four o'clock, it was supposed to be pissing it down. Just goes to show, doesn't it, you can't listen to it weather. The forecast, full of cack. It's boggy underfoot, but I was umming and ahhing whether to bring me uh, my footprint for it, but I'm glad I did, so that's going to keep, keep any of the moisture out of the tent. <sighs> And it's not deep at all, but I can fill my water bottle out of there. And there's a tiny little bit down there, which I might just be able to lay in. So I'm gonna chuck the land shan up, and then I'm gonna go and have a little plunge in there, get some water together, water together. Not bad for a first pitch. I feel like the weather gods have been very kind to me. And the ground is fine. I've just used, I've brought me um, Hilliburg tent pegs just the right amount and I've also got four delta pegs which are four if I feel like it's exposed or you know if there's high winds or anything then I'll just I'll pin out the main bit with the delta peg so it won't go anywhere <sighs> I'm gonna get in here most important thing is shoes off socks off and let the old feet breathe look like my name should be Chet or Zach well, uh, 
Yeah, you know, I had to get some. I used the wrong seam sealant on here. It was the. There's two sorts of seam sealant, and this is the. I used the one that's not for still nylon. So, luckily that came in time, and I've painstakingly re seam sealed it all, and you know, spent. Spent a long time doing that, so she should be waterproof. Have a look down here. Way. But be careful with feet, actually, if you're barefoot walking. Especially if you, you know. Oh, I'm going to do this, and then I am just not doing anything, resting my legs. Woohoo! Looks good. I've got this uh, Canock or Cinoc. It's a two-liter uh, water carrier. And instead of just filling it up like you normally do with the nozzle, which can be pretty frustrating, you've got to blow into it. It's made of a really soft material and you just slide this thing off and the whole of the back bit opens up, makes it a lot easier. You can get two litres in there and that'll do me for my food tonight and for plenty of water to keep hydrated. And then I'll just fill another one of these in the morning and that'll fill both my smart water bottles up. Hopefully I've done a video of what I've got in my bag so it all makes sense but I'll have to do that at some point either on the trail or when I get back because I've been a bit too busy. Right, it's going in skimpies. <laughs> How cold is it? I bet it's freezing, isn't it? Yeah. It really is cold like. Woohoohoo! Oh. Nice. It is nice. I'm going to have to go in, aren't I? Let's get me water first. Pretty easy to do. Oh, the thing is, as well, I do. Oh, I've got two pairs of undies. Got these Patagonia ones, and I've got some icebreaker ones that I'm gonna rotate. <laughs> but I don't think I'll have enough. Ah, well, might be all right. Let's just fill this up. Yeah, it's too far, there you go, look. Easy, easy life. Oh, look at the tent from down here. She looks, she looks magnificent. Ah! She looks mad, majestic. Oh, mate. There you go, look. Two litres of good stuff. You probably won't even need to, well, quite a big river. It's not that fast flowing, so I will filter it. I've got plenty of time to do that. Oh. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, I've got plenty of time to filter it, so it's no skin off my teeth. When I get more up into the hills and it's faster flowing, I won't even filter it, I'll just drink it. Have a little go, shall we? Oh, ignore gut, I've put a bit of timber on. Put a bit of timber on in lockdown, haven't I? Look at that. Uh, that'll be gone by the end of this trip, I can promise you that. Ooh. Oh, will it? Shall I, go, but, shall I just go new? Right, I'm going to take these off anyway. I can't be bothered to edit it, so... I've got no clothes on, but... Uh, at this time of day, right out here, no one's... I don't think anyone cares about my bare ass. Right, so I've just got me uh, merino wool layer. Is it see-through? No, it's fine. We've got... Um, these are super light. Acclima merino wool base layer and this is a little bit warmer this acclima it's got a hood on it as well and i'll just sleep in this and i've got because i went out camping not so long back and i got a little bit cold i used to run this alp kit bag all winter and just like every, all seasons for for many years but it's just uh it's just lost so many feathers and I think it's just lost its insulative properties a little bit. And I was cold last time I went out. So I've got some down trousers and my synthetic puffer jacket. But it's super light. It's uh, Patagonia, summer or other. <sighs> Can't be jenked. 
I'll probably do reviews of all the little individual bits and pieces when I get time. Yeah, my thoughts were, don't get a new sleeping bag or a warm one. If I get, just get some of these and I can wear them around camp and they'll be like my camp trousers as well. I'm carrying everything with me. All my food in here, there is enough as uh, 14, I think 14 or 15, 15 uh, freeze dried meals. Um, and I've got loads of snack like, uh, let's have a look. Uh, coffees, I got one of these sent to me by the Fell store, but I'll mention that in a bit. I'm not really going to do breakfast, but I'll have that maybe in a midday sort of a thing. Loads of coffees. Uh, just get it all out. What else am I going to do? Uh, yeah, I've just got these cliff bars, chai charge, uh, battle hurts. Oh yeah, and this is me weapon. My secret weapon is this. Loads of beef jerky, so I'll just put that in my little front thing and just graze on it. In fact, I'm gonna have a little graze right now. Good protein, man. Um, it's pretty easy and pretty cheap to make a load of it. For those that haven't seen it, I'll link a video up here to, the, uh, to me making beef jerky. It's pretty easy, and if you're going to be doing long distance hike, it's a p hikes. It's the perfect little trail snack for you meat eaters out there. I've got to choose something to have. Look at this. There's all sorts of different ones. We've got the fire pot meals, uh, adventure food, something to eat. Um, real termat. I just want to shout out the Fell store. They sent me. What did they send me? They sent me that, that, that. Did they there? Three of them. Ah, I don't know. I can't remember. But yeah, the Fell store sent me three or four things. Them. These things here. I think so thank you for that the fell store I shall leave a link to the fell store because I was I was very grateful of these uh, of these little samples that they sent me and they're uh, they'll come in handy so I'll leave a link below to the fell store mint on first day in it because nothing's I'm not sick of them yet I've been looking with me just because I mean, I don't want to speak too soon, like, but there isn't any at the moment, put it that way. But it's this time of year that they're going to come out, arse end of May. I might be alright. And I think the first sort of, ah, oh, there's so many different species of, mi of midges, not all of them bite you either. Kent CBD. Just at the end of every day few drops of this. Yummy! A few drops of CBD and um, I've just put a load of these in. My dude over on Patreon, you know who you are, hooked me up with such a cool um, CBD package with like balms and, and, and oil, uh, just all sorts of great stuff man and I'm really, I really appreciate it. I'm going to use it. I'm using it on this hike as you can see, I've been using it. Also some lion's mane capsules, which I did have some actually, but I was running low on them. So it's like you know me mate, hooking me up. And I'll keep eating these, I have four of these a day and it's just, they're just good for you. I feel like, why not? They're lightweight, easy, to, you know, they're easy to carry, they're small. And with the lion's mane mushrooms, it's just, it gives you clarity and I, don't, I could all just be snake oil, mate, for all I know, but it's worth it to me. <laughs> and I've got these patches, look, CBD patches. They're like, then you just stick them on your skin as you go, so. I might whack one of them on now. 
again it's just paper in it this this lightweight why not i'm down for it man one of the things that annoys me with these things is it sounds like a boeing 747 taking off of all the choices I've gone for chicken curry and then my reasoning behind it was that it was the heaviest technical difficulties <laughs> you fell over oh you can't even see my head anyway chicken cuzza the reasoning being is that it was the heaviest one by like hardly out but i'm just gonna work my way through the heaviest snacks and food to the lightest to make my life easier <laughs> i have had this before Kind of a middle of the road chicken curry it's not that great but after a mm, after a full day's hiking it is delicious nice a morale boost to say the least I don't need a morale boost my morale is on point tomorrow it'll start getting a bit more real i think Whoa. Right, let's have a little look at Mappy M Mappington. For those that are interested. Yeah, so Fort William, the ferry starts here, takes you over to uh, Camo Sangal. My apologies to all my Scottish man and lady dem for my pronunciations in advance for this whole trip, to be honest. I am sorry. Uh, ferry takes 10 minutes. Just gave the guy, it was two quid. Met a fella there who was also, he'd sectioned hiked it before and he was having an attempt. So, hello Paul, if, you, if you're watching mate, good luck, I hope you've, I hope you did it okay. And yeah, so you set off, it's a nice, it's tarmac, so there's nothing really, nothing challenging. It's just nice to sort of, you know, tighten your backpack and just, iron out any sort of bits and pieces that you need to iron out before you get into it so yeah it's pretty straightforward it's just a road past this stinky uh, salmon farm here over here down here hey up it's longer than I thought mate all the way down here it's still beautiful man like when you get to here and you're looking out over all this it's just it is stunning and then when you get to here the temptation is to keep going, but you don't. There's a tree, and there's a load of fancy painted stones, and then you turn right up here. It joins onto this track, and it just gets ever. So it's just, you know, you've gone from tarmac, and then it's like an hardcore. Not, it's like a, a stone track. You're just getting more and more remote as you go. Up here, it's all beautiful. You just follow the side of this river, really stunning. You go past this Bothy, but it's owned by the estate, so you can't get in it. I'm not sure what the deal is with Bothy's at the moment, anyway, because of lockdown. I'm not sure that any of them will be open. Uh, along here, just absolutely stunning scenery, just little waterfalls and uh, just the magnitude of it. It's just beautiful up here. Plenty of places to camp in and around here near the river. But I thought I will just push on and I've put here look camp night one. I thought I'd camp somewhere along here. Um but I've pushed on. Pushed on. Clack on, clack on. I got to about here and I was like, right, well, let's look for somewhere to camp. And it wasn't until I got to here, which is where I am now, just as the track, we're gonna go through a gate in the morning and then it gets it's you can see by these contours here that it's gonna get pretty steep and uh, and then yeah so that's that's tomorrow's that's so much to look forward to tomorrow morning well my sleep system worked I was off I'm, in fact I'm about to undo that that's too hot mate. Oh, I'll tell you what I don't like is this noise here look Ah. 
Oh, and you sink to the floor and you can feel the floor. Seems like a nice day out there. I'm nervous. I'm nervous with all nice days. It's gonna. I'm, I know I'm gonna get my ass kicked soon. Oh, look at it, mate. Bags packed. Just to put the tent away. You can see the cloud. Oh, sorry about this. <laughs> I'm not drinking. Uh, this isn't my breakfast, by the way. I'm just carrying this can of faith, Northern Monk, as like, you know, you carry a pebble across the coast to coast and chuck it in the sea. This is my thing I'm carrying with me. It's faith, because I've just got to have faith, you know, in the hard times, I've got to keep the faith. And then when I get to the lighthouse, I'm going to enjoy it. Right, let's pop that in there anyway. <laughs> and it's also temptation. Temptation last night when I I saw it I was like whoa but no resist So let's have a quick goosey roo This is where I'm going up here you can see the path cut out in the hill and the clouds are low lying so we're going up into the clouds so it's probably gonna be cold so I've got me my jacket on standby but I'm hoping because it's quite steep I'll get a bit of a bead on anyway leave no trace Who's this? Frog boy. He's a funny looking fella. <laughs> Cutie. Cutie McFrog boy. I've still got a lockdown barn it like, but I've had more I've had uh, more important things on my mind. So I said I'll wait until I've until I've uh, had a crack at this hike and then I'll get my hair cut. Hey, up feet are getting soaked already. That's the thing about about these trail runners. You've got to commit to getting wet feet, even in the slightest, like damp grass. Waffling bollocks is the name of my new band. The waffling bollocks. A nice steady climb out of that uh, out of that valley, and we're coming into this valley. Down this path, we skirt along some woodland and into Glen Finning, I believe. Which is just a small little, there's not much there. The clouds are starting to lift, which is nice. Just so peaceful. So peaceful. Right, let's go find some water. Simple as that. Two 600 mil bottles full. Um, I've got all that in there, and I'll just I'll just pour that straight into my mouth from here and hydrate, and put them in my bag. There you go. Look. <laughs> A big old uh, deer fence, newly erected. Look at this. I can't open it. If I push that up there, see so if you can do it one handed, push that up there, then you can get it out. You can go on the top one, <laughs> oh, all the way out. Now, come on, come on. That is worth it. That's worth the wet feet. Let's see how she closes up. Let's see how she closes up, hold on. A bit of a river. Get me sticks over there, look. Look, I'm treating you here, don't say I don't... Yeah. Mate, come on. And you've got, because it's on a hill anyway, it ain't going, it's never... That gravity is going to keep that from... The clothes up properly, so that no deers can... That's amazing. Um, if you want to see more of this sort of stuff, you can follow, and this isn't even a joke. 
I've got a latch and locks uh, Instagram page that I'm very proud of. So um, I'll leave a link here. Go check it out. Latch and locks on Instagram. Because <laughs> I don't want to bore you with all this. Look, why would you want to see all this when? Farewell. I guess that counts as a river crossing, doesn't it? That's the thing in Scotland, mate. That one day that can be quite easily passable. The next day, <coughs> a nightmare. And also, right, I've just noticed this. Let's go and have a look. Come down here. Right, first of all, magic! Look. I would only drink at the source of a, of, a, of water because look, I'm up in hills, there's that stinking dead deer and just below there it looks all well, I'd easily fill my bottle from down there and drink out of it, it looks wonderful, but, I mean it's up to you but I'm, you know, I'd rather err on the side of caution, especially when you're out in the middle of nowhere, you don't want to be getting a dicky tummy and Anyway, rest in peace, young medic. What we got here, look, uh, a very simple latch. Oh, hey, up, gates all, gates falling to bits. This bit's falling down, so it's pulling on it. Should have maybe started with this one and then get the other one. It's, it seems like a, <laughs> seems like a step down from its glorious counterpart. Reg DSN. And then a serial number for steel. Right, let's turn this off and get through. Anyway, what am I doing? On my knees, like, on my knees taking photos of a caterpillar. It's not the one, is it? I've got stuff to do, I know, I've got places to be. Stop and smell the caterpillars though, am I right? Am I right? I can't get back up again. Right, see that shatter pillar. <laughs> oh, here he is, look. Some of you might recognise this viaduct from uh, Gary Potter. There was a steam train went past over the top of it. It looked mint. But uh, I wasn't quick enough to film it. So just imagine. Gary. Gary Potter. Glen. Pause it if you care. Gary Potthead, if you've seen it. Uh, <laughs> I know about Gary Potthead. I've uh, I've read a few of the books to my daughter when she was a younger a younger human. Gary Potthead. I used to do all voices and that. I think I've mentioned it before that I used to get it all wrong. And I would because uh, <laughs> I can't read ahead. So I would go, I'd be like, hello Harry, whispered Hermione, or, hey Harry, let's go for, let's go fly around at our hovers, bellowed Hagrid, there, I mean, I, and there you go, say, see you later, unless a train goes across now and I turn around and, and film it, but, big GP, Gary Potts, see you later. Look at that. <laughs> One of the most remote places to live. That's awesome. A bothy. 
Look at the state of it, man. <laughs> Has he got lights? Are you kidding? Oh, what? This is nice, man. This is luxury. Look at that. Look at that fireplace. Plenty of wood, actually. Some pans. <laughs> Smells good. A kettle. Plenty more. Plenty more room to get your head down. Oh, a little bow saw to cut wood up. Brilliant. An axe. Get murdered with. Right then, let's write something in the book. I was going to stay down there. I was in two minds because as soon as I get up there, it's a bit exposed and boggy. And so I'll have to commit to getting to the next spot, sir. I think it was about six miles, six or seven miles. And it's three o'clock. So <laughs> a longer day today than I thought I was going to have, but I feel strong. Just had a couple of cubes of Kendall mint cake. Cheers, the fell store for that. Not my usual energy sauce, but I'll take it, pure sugar. If it was good enough to get to the top of Everest in the 50s, it's good enough for me now. I don't care anymore, I just, in fact, getting, getting wet feet is an, <laughs> oh, it's so nice. I like it. <laughs> Just to keep all deers in. Oh, old deers, see you later. <laughs> oh. As if I weren't going to do that though. Ow. Gee. Look at her. Are you having it? Latch and locks. Close the gate. Or else. <laughs> Close the gate, mate. Close, rest at fence, why don't you? Never mind telling me to close the gate, why don't you close, close fence? <laughs> and now, just making my way down here, there's no real path. I'm just, uh, and then, well we'll see. Just gonna go down here. And then I'm gonna hit some woodland and there's a woodland track and then there'll be a camp, a camp spot near a bothy. That's where I'm heading for tonight. Look how well camouflaged they are. All right, lads, I want to see a big stag. I've heard him up on this ridge barking away, but they'll be birthing their young this time of year. So you have to give them a bit of space. Not that I could get anywhere near them anyway. And also I think the, like the ground, the ground dwelling birds are nesting and, you know, laying their eggs. May, it's that time, isn't it? Everything's coming into bloom and coming out and things are giving birth and hatching and new beginnings. I love seeing these deer though, I can't get enough. It's Scotland AF. Right girls, I'll see you later. You take it easy, yeah? Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Wee if I don't see you through a week, I'll see you through a window. Wee yeah, you having this look? Oh dear. This whole section has been, or still is, extremely boggy. And there's a lot of parts, look, it's just boggy. And there's a lot of bits where 
I mean, you've just got to keep your wits about you because there's little, little holes that go up to your knee, like, like little leg breakers. You could really injure yourself just... So I'm just being methodical, just sort of talking to a camera, not looking where I'm going. I am going to be staying in the Bothy, but usually there's decent land, decent grass around a Bothy to pitch your tent. But we'll see what state of the woods are in. And I would love to sleep in some woods, but a lot of it's just plantations and the, the, they put the trees too close together, so it's not really a pleasant experience, but we'll see when we get there. Let's get down to them trees. Oof. There we are. There's these trees here. But look. Get me out. Get me out of it. In fact, look. You know what I mean there? Ah, I've just come from up here. Just absolutely vast. Ah, oh, mate. There's something else in it, eh? It really is. Come on then. I'll definitely film this bit just in case this bridge cacks it. Ugh. Look, whoa. Look how deep it is down there. It looks lush. I could even jump off the bridge. I reckon. Oh, that is beautiful. I could swim in there, man. I've got to, Anna. I'm just going to get in there and just cool down my muscles and my feet for a little bit and then get out and uh, tr get as dry as I can and then just crack on. Right, I'm having it. I'm having it. <laughs> worth it ah, absolutely worth it that felt great oh I wish I could have got out of there and straight into my tent but you can't go past something like that and not have a little have a little plunge I think this is going to be bed for, uh, home for the night next to this running water the bothy is there but there's a uh, yeah it's full of people so <sighs> normally it's cool just to rock up and be like oh, yeah, let's make friends but can't be bothered putting a right shift today and I just want to zone out get some grub in me and go to sleep um, get me drills done get to sleep so this is a perfect spot for me Let's get the old Lanshan do up. Lanshan part two. Not a bad pitch, that one. Beautiful scenery. It's just started to rain though, so could not have timed it better. Beautiful, beautiful pitch. It just went up beautifully as well in no time. Less than five minutes. Oh, let's get inside. Let's get some water first and then get inside. <sighs> like a drowned rat, look. I've got my little washing line going with socks and my sponge and that, drying everything off. The joy of getting my uh, merino, dry merino wool leggings and then my down pants on and my merino wool top. But, and, it, and I got in, filled me water, got in and it just started pissing down and I was, I've been so excited, <laughs> so happy just to be dry oh, and to not be hiking anymore. That was a rough one, man. Longer than I expected. Tough, tough gig. So I'm just gonna let my, uh, let me feet just chill out for a little bit. Look how white they are. I'm getting a few little hot spots that I'll tend to. 
decide what I'm gonna, which meal I'm gonna have, and then we'll have a little look at the map and see what's going on with that. I'm so glad I've got this tent, mate. The Lan, the Lanshan 2 Pro. What a tent! What a tent! I already loved the Lanshan one that got me across the coast to coast. But that was just like, there wasn't much room to do stuff. When here, you just like, you chuck all your gear about. Oh, and you can just maneuver, and you can just live, just live in space, you know. You've got, got my little washing line, gonna have my dinner in here. I'm rained off, so listen to my audio book. It's just perfect, man. Wonderful. I'd much rather be in here than Boffy anyway. All right, let's get some fodder on. Right, I think, I think I've got it wrong yesterday uh, with which ones the fell store sent me. They didn't send me the fire pot ones. They sent me the vegan one, the red one, and a couple of Cedar Summits, uh, the porridge and the Kendall mint cake. So thanks for that. Um, I left their link. I'll leave a link <laughs> below. Link, link, link. What did we go for? Chicken ticker with rice, no less. Oh, it smells wonderful. I'll tell you what, them adventure food ones from Go Outdoors, nah, they aren't the ones. They're not the ones at all, let's be honest. They're all right. But these ones though, come off it, mate. Can you be bothered even to look at it? Camera face, come on camera guy. Come on camera. Oh, forget it, forget it. Oh, that's delicious. Ah, oh, just a bit of warm grub. Ah, oh, soothing. Nice and spicy. When I say spicy, I don't mean hot. That's a little bit of a kick, but I just mean the flavours of spice are there. I can't. It's just delightful. I can't fault it. Oh man. Can you hear rain's coming down? Didn't rain all day. And as soon as I get started looking for a, a site round here, it started to rain and Oh man, I got the tent up just in time. Absolutely buzzing. Hopefully this isn't a sign of things to come, but if it is, it's what I expect from the Highlands. I mean, to be fair, I've been lucky these last two days. So it's about time I got my ass handed to me, innit? it? See what I'm really work made of. I'll have a little look at the map after dinner. See you later. Oh. Let's have a look at map. Let's have a look at Mapton America. So if it focuses in, come on focus. I was exactly where the point of that knife is there. That's where I woke up. Uh, half seven, quarter to eight, something like that. Up here, you can see how cl close these contour lines are together, that how steep it was. So a nice steep climb out of there into this valley boggy boggy valley <laughs> boggy but beautiful made my way all down there to the side of this wood followed it along and then uh oh, i done goofed here i done did me a goof i went over there I went over that little bridge to try and take this way in, but then as soon as I got to the road, I was like, ah, oh, no, 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 go back. Through this, like, woodland area. Down here. This is quite a nice little area, actually. This was a nice little... A little area, nice views out here. Um, little monument and stuff. Through uh, Glenfinnan to the viaduct. Kept going, 
This is a long day today up here. You could, some lovely camp spots along here, all the way up. Beautiful places to camp. We're going to go right there, so a sharp right. There's a little boffy there that you could stay in. That was pretty nice, I wrote in the book there. And then I came up here and this is where I got here and I was thinking, shall I keep because I'm knacked. I was a bit knacked. Mind you, I'd come all the way from there, it's quite far. I just thought, sod it, let's go for it. So I climbed up and out. Uh, very boggy in places, again, still stunning though. So I loads of deer down here. Several river crossings down here as well. Luckily the river wasn't too high, so it wasn't too much of a problem. And then I got down to this little bridge here, where I had a nice little swim. And then into these woodlands that were just so thick, man. Loads of like, lichen everywhere, it was lovely. Um, and this ended up being longer than I anticipated it. So, I didn't go that way. I went this way, stuck to the path, stuck to the track through the through the woodland. All the way around, through the woodland. It's a really beautiful area as well. But I was struggling by this point, mate. My legs were going. Just my feet were saying, stop, stop. Uh, kept going, kept going, kept going, kept going. There's the boffy. So you get to the end of this path, and you've got to go down a hill. I hiked along here to this little bit of water, and that's where I am. Where the point of my knife is. Oh, look how blushed I am. I'm weather beaten. I'm weather beaten. Oh, face has gone bright red. Burns. Woo! Welcome to Scotland. Bye. Right, so tomorrow. Tomorrow looks like fun. I think tomorrow is when we really get into it. So uh, stay tuned for that. It'll be out in a few days. Uh, if you want to watch that, if you want to be notified, just hit the subscribe button and the bell next to it and you'll be notified when I upload. Or just search for it. Or don't even watch it. It's up to you, mate. It's up to you. Thanks as always for watching and I'll see you... T I was going to say I'll see you tomorrow. I'll see you on the next one. Salute. Uh, au revoir.